Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Mod. This is Lunar Landings, the new mod. It's still new. Um, I'm up to Blue Science, and I was just wiping out some Biden S last time. Um, because the pollution cloud. Oh, it's paused. The pollution cloud was getting a bit close. I still have this nest here to wipe out, and then we should be okay. Um, I think we've already done all the rest of the southwest maybe in the desert as well because the pollution moves more that way but I think we should get them, we should be, should be able to grind out um, a whole bunch of blue science to push towards rockets uh, I've got a good uranium patch here, so that's good um, I'm gonna need like get trains for all the things, I've got oil and iron ore and this my little radar scouting is working really well it's a much better strategy than I'm used to doing I can just keep moving this round to get more coverage. I could just leave one there as well, but I think the biters would actually, um, they might stumble across it and then destroy them all. Um, yeah, that's where that we at. So, I've got to start playing again. We're going to fix this car and um, Got some we can damage landmines, really? That's interesting. So that was a real pain in the ass. We spent ages on that. Looks like I left two biters up there. I don't think there's any corpses. Um I I have all my stuff I need, but I hope I don't need any corpses. This um It's hard to see, you know, because you have to but look quite Intently. Oh, there's some turrets here. Um, there, 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 there. It's only showing one. I thought it'd show all of them by doing that. That's really frustrating. I'm showing that one. I'm showing them. Let's zoom in a bit. That's all. I mean, the orange is not doesn't really stand out. It should be like a um, like a green, like a hot, like a fluoro green or something. Anyway, we've got to wipe this other nest out to the southwest because uh, it's gonna keep attacking me. We did have it. We got three nests on that drive by. It wasn't the worst, but yeah, not very good at these with um, hitting rocks is my major failing point. Serious? Well, at least we kind of like we got some mines in here, so when I respawn, they should die. Just be that left. Yeah. Three nests left. Damn, man. Gotta get educated on um. Keep my uh, dude alive. I should probably have concrete here as well, because I kind of spawn here a bit, don't I? Helps with the initial uh, startup fund. Um, maybe heavy armor needs to be automated too. I think I'd die enough to warrant that. So we can put it right here. Oh, really? It's frustrating. 
have to rush it. I was gonna stick around a little bit more, but I have to rush it because the two little biters attacking me. I was gonna do some prep, but we can prep next time. I'm just gonna save my mining outpost and then uh, finish that nest off. I didn't grab turrets though, did I? Yeah. Oops. All on mining. I think I got two of them. And one's at some point anyway, because they're usually quite empty. Not bad to do a drive by, it's only one spitter. Not bad drive by and pick my corpse up and I'm lucky. He's slower and he's more zoomed in. His focus needs um Okay, we did we did okay. One worm left. Where's my corpse? There. I reckon I can kill him without causing a ruckus. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I think it's gonna be more. I, I feel I'm not patient enough when I'm doing these landmines. That's my only downside. That was good. I shouldn't get any attacks for a while. Now the problem is uh, with this water here, they will get butters here, and these butters will run all the way around and attack me. Um, which kind of sucks. And they won't attack my base here. They'll attack this. So this, I need like you know, end up having to get choke point over here. We don't want to worry about that. We, for now though, we can just keep doing science. So I think we got blue science. I was going to get prod modules, that's right. So I'll go back now and see if we got the prod modules I need. We should do. This thing's working. Yeah, things are good. No, just don't hit the, just don't hit the rocks, buddy. Rocks are bad, mm-hmm. Bad, bad bitty rocks. Pressure caught the train home. Car's pretty beat up. If I get some lasers, it'll be much easier dealing with these um, fighters, but I haven't got the research going yet. That's the power anyway. I think it's okay. Oh, I guess you know. Okay. Yeah, we, we're, we're fine. We'll have to um, get this cold patch feed this at some point because this patch will run out. It's got a wee ways to go though. But yeah I want to get those prod modules on the labs before I keep researching so it's kind of buffering up blue science right now. I want to pick it up. Oh, weird, it auto equips the wrong one. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder what does that. Anyway. There are some damaged items, because I don't really want to carry around damaged items. Oh, the, the guns too. 
picking up lots of guns. There we go. We get the bricks and fix up this little bit down here. Get bricks. This will future me, so I don't have to worry about um, when I die. Can't pick things up. Yeah, that's a bit better. We got all the way to the train station. Makes sense. Okay. I was gonna do the um heavy armor here. I should actually automate this one though, the modular, because I do have that available. I was got 10% more acid resistance as well. And same physical odd though. I'm going to red chips here though, I've got the steel, but... The iron's always a bit sad. I'm a little scared to expand that too much. How do we make? We made 28, that's enough. Cool, so that's the, while I was busy uh, trying to kill butters, we got all my... So it's enough for a few more of these now. Shorter though. Alright, we won too much. Oh, that's good. Uh, should go on the top side. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go unleash. How do we get? I've got 114. That's nothing at all. Oh my god. Yeah, I've got to do something about my science. I think these ones. Kind of bub bubbled up a bit much. That's kind of fine, but ah, oh, it's backfilling that one too. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's a bit dumb, isn't it? So I've kind of, kind of cooked. The sides a bit there. Now it's going to back up, and it should stop using um, all the resource I need because I got I got very limited resource. I'll be making a lot of science when I probably couldn't afford to. I think this bullet's been taking a, um, a lot, because we've been dying so much. But anyway, we can research lasers. And we'll get uh, the good stuff, because that, that's only 250. We should be able to grind that out. And, um, yeah, we should be okay from the biters then. I'm not sure what blue science is actually the most useful. I really like this sort of thing, advanced material. But I need to get um, efficiency modules on that. We need advanced crude as well. For um, future things. Maybe for the jetpack. Or robots. I'm going to go straight for robots. Um, but I don't think it really matters too much. The moon thing. And what's gated behind the moon? Looks like Logibots are not gated. Which is good. But the yellow science and purple science are gated by the moon. Okay. Cool. This is all you need to get to rockets. So it's not too far away. I have three types of rocket control units. Oh, you packed them. Interesting. Oh, you packed them too. I'm not sure about that decision. I don't think that's a good decision. I don't like packing items. I mean, it's not too many, so it's not annoying, but um, that is, I don't like packing. It's, 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 it goes against what I think is optimal in the game. It's like a, it's like an item just to save logistics, but you should just increase the capacity of the logistics to compensate with some upgrade instead, rather than doing lots of individual items. Don't agree with that philosophy. 
Okay, so looks like I got plenty of blue sites, but the slabs is a bit broken. We'll just go pick up some. Oh, we don't need to go all the way to the end either. We can stop it there. It's worth having these here. Sand shit is really shit. Okay. So we're running out of military science. Got plenty of um. That red science is a bit. A bit much. Now why is it getting used? Ah, oh, because I did these stupidly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's done. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll do some smarts. Um. Oh, we can't do a shared belt though. How do we do shared belt? Smarts. I don't think we can. Because you, you get an IV statement and then let half the belt go. You can't block half the belt. So the only solution is just to fix this. Which means um, they get like a priority splitter mergey thing. Um, like that. Then this. This is in the way, it shouldn't be there. What side of the belt is it on? Can you get the wrong side of the belt that's there? That's the right side. Hello there. Hey, about it. Don't be running. Here you go. That's not gonna work. That would work down there, but it's a bit messy. Go to the moon? Definitely. Team moon. Um. How's that going? Okay, so Is it the right side of the belt? No. Shit. That's the right side. Woke up later yesterday and couldn't fall asleep. I woke up later again today. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, that should solve this. That should back up and we stop making science act. A bit squiggly, but I think the military one is broken. Oh, I forgot to take that one out. Whoops. We got no blue science sphere anyway. It's a little bit messy now. My pockets are a bit full. Oh, that's a bit better. So I can't prioritize it, which means that um, same problem as this thing. You need to have a splitter to prioritize the input. I think they got so low production anyway, it doesn't matter. Now I can automate lasers. That'd be great. 
Good need for them anyway. Just batteries, really. Sort of on a fast laser factory. Um, well, one in one a minute's probably fine, but I might ch I'll just see what it costs. Yeah, and this is this is this building. I mean, that's not bad. Bunch of acid, two pretty minute acid. It's one of each building is the main thing. So I do a small little build for that. Where about it here? So I need uh that. So how's um how's goals going, builder? You got some you got some taskmaster development. We're gonna get some we're gonna get some dev time. We're gonna make some stuff. I probably use um low insiders. No time to do Factorio. It's many workers to enjoy, but that's what I'm hearing. We might automate in those capsules as well, but we'll just do lasers for now. We'll do chem plants next to it. I need those, but. Is it worth doing a separate build for that in sulfur? Probably is. I mean I got them up uh here, but I could just pump this I could just pump the acid over. Like the battery. That probably makes more sense. Also important coworker said he quits. Oh. You have to prove your skills, eh? Proof. Um, I want a hundred lasers. Do I need that? On oh, that steel. That's this bad boy. Um, what's the consumption rate? Right? I need a whole proper belt of it. There's iron and plate. I don't know. Uh, that's the oil. I'm gonna go for rocket fuel. It's quite expensive. What's gonna give me the most bang for my buck? Um. Maybe tank actually. It'll help me with the biters. I can run over the nest. I mean, there is this, this thing as well because I got this extra mod. So I could do that instead. This thing's like real OP. I don't really want, want to deal with biters to be honest. So. That suits me just fine. Hmm. 
Where's the um, acid? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's lasers. Pretty slow build though, but it should um it says it's not it says it's short on the batteries. Interesting. I think this is because this is this is actually point zero three eight per second. It went to five minute and I was only trying to build for one per minute. Yeah, so that's why it's undercooked. I also always turn off the biters just because I don't want to deal with them and I prefer the building aspect of the game more. Fair enough, lost and found. Or well, lost. Lost in F and D. But not too bad. It just distracts me. I, what I use the biters for is um, when I need to like research stuff slowly. I go deal with the biters. My problem is there's so much desert on this the seed. Um, the pollution goes crazy. And so it's hard to defend against that. But what up here is fine because the, the, the trees, this pollution like from this is insane from the desert. No, no, um, doesn't suck it in. I almost need two, I'm actually going to stick a battery. Oh, I don't really d want to build two of them, but we could do a 4.5 a minute build. This does need 12 batteries each. Yeah, so I need four of these, four of these builds. And then... It's two of these. Okay. This requires a different layout then. Do so four of these. Not too bad. Um The other side's a bit more annoying, but... Oh, it does need the steel, though. That's not so bad. But it could add the steel. Okay, that's plenty of batteries. I think the batteries anyway for some other things, so... Um, oh, I can't really belt it on out there because I've done this pipe here ruins that. But we can do another one of these instead. So that um, we do it all the out here instead. It makes more sense. Oh, it's gonna work out just nice. So I can just add this steel line straight onto it. The only thing missing is the green chips. They ain't on Norway recognized. Oh, okay. I'm in the way. So I didn't get this green chips down on the belt. I think the one was fine. Remove that. Um, mm. This one doesn't belong here anymore. We don't need that. We'll keep that. I'm just going to tool these. Oh, 
I thought it was going to be heavy at one, but I want lots of lasers in case I need them. I don't really need them. Um, do I want to go straight down? I don't think they grab very fast. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll go the other side. It's fine. That's silly, but. There we go, 100 lasers. Um, oh, not grabbing the bottom of the belt. There we go. It's quite a big build actually, just for two lasers. If I want two lasers, that makes sense. Oh, perfectly zero. And we've still got plus six batteries, so I could use those batteries for something else. Um, oh yeah, 4.5 SPM lasers. Well, it's not SPM, it's PDM. Production per... PPM? Production per minute? It's PPM. I probably should get some of these things though. The steam condensers. Collect steam, fluid steam from all nearby steam turbine and it turns most of it back into fluid water. Each two is shown to be placed in the range of one steam condenser. Alright, so this is the way of working around the moon steam. That's weird. Oxygen. Steam machine and lunar require specific habitat to function. See? Steady stream of auction provided. Okay. Um. A good solder up there. Need 500 degrees steam to launch a rocket up there. Uh, need rocket fuel launch here. Interesting. Oh. Cool. I mean, I've got six. I mean, is that enough to go bully some baddies? I feel it is. Oh, what's this? Uh... You must launch a rocket from an NTN to start a rocket launch silo to win the game. Okay. That, that's pretty obvious. We're still making uh, these. We gave we get we manually gave them their green chips. Um I can still give them some more. That's why my blue sites are so sad though, so maybe I shouldn't. These just need a lot more. Ah, oh, okay. I'm just a bit silly. Is that better now? It's the right rate, but this is too slow on the instead of just the yellow. So yellow says 0.9, but that says two. But then the the blue one is fine. So that should juice the production to actual normal rates. So science should one six three. It's one, two, two. So we should have spare red chips. Actually, we can actually prioritize right here. And that'll balance it out. So that'll backfill, and eventually we'll get to here, and then we'll give the excess to production. Looks like, so, why is my, uh, why has the power gone up so, suddenly? Is it just the lasers? I guess I'm gonna need a big power plant. I'm gonna have to research lasers or something. Uh, not lasers, uh, nuclear. I do want to get that steel built as well. Modular build. 
Oh, right now, read and status. So, it's from there, we can go to here. And build modular armor. I feel like 100 is not enough. I might get a 200 um, name lines. This thing seems quite efficient. I'm just gonna make one um, module though, and we, we won't. What could we. Mm, I clear build spares. Oh. Now currently it says it's it's actually oh it actually got through. It shouldn't dare get through the end of if um we're producing too much red chips and we are. So it should actually build that. Um I probably can move the green chips over there too. These are backing up slowly. I think it's these that need help. I always forget you need a uh, the blue and setters for the wires, otherwise you don't get enough output. Kind of sucks. I think we're looking pretty good. I might get this armor soon. Is that right? Was it supposed to? I guess it was. Your blue site's a bit, a bit skimpy, but not too bad. Now probably enough spare military science it looks like to build. This thing's like a bit out of whack. Say you're making extra um, piercing rounds. What I can do is at the end I can do a um, overflow into a chest for personal use. And just go to even 200. Would be great. Do I grenades? I don't really use grenades. I find I, I'm not very good at throwing them. So I don't use them. On the way I play the game, I just don't navigate so well. I'm a bit of rockets, but then I get... Because I, I get killed by the spitters and will use rockets. The rocket launch would be pretty useful, I think. But, um... Just sniping the odd thing. You can normally like when rockets get fast, you can like snipe a nest. Pretty good. We have to wipe out all these nests, I think. This evolution is gonna get a bit nasty as well. Do I keep researching down there? This thing's pretty damn OP. It's a bit of fun. More of a fun thing than a, a, neat, a neat thing though. Oh, that thing there's the, that's the real bees. I should maybe move more, more towards uh, something else. We can do that thing. We got a lot of military science, we can do that. And we could do a bit of bullet damage, I guess. We could actually do the... That's 500 blow, though. Oh, wow, 90% damage to cannons? That's a heaps. I didn't realize it's so high. I guess this, this science is stacked up a bit differently. Uh... I already got lubricant. So we get... Electric engines though. Robotics. 
Construction bots. Coastal road port. Oh wait, there is a logic logistics. That's yellow science. So you can't get you can't get this to go to Luna. You gotta go to Luna first to get request address. Interesting. I've got tank automated, so I can probably make one. Um Engines, oh yeah. We don't have engines spare here, I don't think these guys eat them all. Do we have iron gears? I don't think we do, but we can make them. Stop to make any more. Any landmines? Maybe we've got an escapade. Um, but I need that tank automated. Otherwise, make these chain gunners. Are they better than turrets or not? Uh, 25, 50, 40, 25. 25, 50, 40, 25. It doesn't show it here. It's a bit of a rip. I thought it would show it. This stops it outputting, though. Another one. I got some ammo. Okay. Um. Whoa! We've got six thousand green chips in this chest. Oops. And these are all slow too. These actually the wrong. Speed. This is because it's backed up, so this is not um using resources. I guess I should keep making the prod modules, but we need to get to efficiencies. What's retirement age in New Zealand? I think it's 65. Currently. I, mean, I don't know how long it's going to stay 65, but you know, these things, um, they do change. I mean, I personally think the retirement age should be four years before the average death age. So average, average female dies at like 89. So retirement age should be 85. And average male dies at 83. For time and age to be 79. Because that's what they set it up to be fundable uh, when they initially created the schemes. You're supposed to have four years of retirement. So you, should be, you should be working till you're 80, I think. It doesn't, it's not, it's, it, what's going to happen, current, what's going to happen though is they're going to, they're just going to default on all these schemes and give no one any money. So everyone thinks they're retiring at 65, but then they have no money at all from the government. Like they're retired with no money, so what happens, they end up working anyway. Because they can't, it's not fundable. It's like, it's like, it's like, um, it's like when you have religion, you always promise something, um, you know, in the afterlife. With government, they did retirement age, like they promised something just before you die, right? The government's trying to replace religion by promising something when you're just about dead. That's like the new religion is retirement. So everyone's got this massive belief that everyone's going to retire and have everyone's got plenty of money and it's going to be grand old time. But it only works for one or two generations and then it's bankrupt and then it defaults and yeah, everyone's like dirt poor. But hey, it's, it's good work, it ran. <laughs> the ones who got to retire early, they're lucky them. It is a Ponzi scheme. It's, fu it's fully unfunded. You need to save 18% 18, 18 of your take home pay. To better retire, actually retire, eighteen percent for your entire working life. People save three to six percent. 
There's no way they've got enough money. The government's not saving the extra 15% for you. So, and actually, more children and taxpayers is actually not the solution either. You just need to be a bit more realistic about what you can uh, give people when they get to old age. Which is not, uh, not much at all. Basically, everyone's tax take, everyone's taxes should be inverted, like an inverted pyramid. So when you say, when you're zero, you get negative 50% tax rate. And as you get closer to 18, your tax rate gets closer to 0%. And when you get to 25, you start paying like, say, 5% tax. When you get to 30, it goes to like 10% tax. But the time you're like 50 and you peak earning, it'll be like 55 to 60% tax. So that's how taxes should work on income. Or all, all, your, all your incomes, that is. It should, it should be like... UBI for babies up to like, you know, education age and then it should slide into paying all the taxes as you get older and older and older. So by the time you like actually retirement age, you're paying like 9% taxes. You have no actual, there's no reason for you to work anymore. You get pushed out of the workforce because it's, it's not worth you working because the tax rate's so high. You can't have 19 years in retirement either. That's way too long. That's a pipe dream if they think they can even get that. It's fully unfunded, eh? Oh well, we've got we've got 19 lasers, but we're gonna steal. What happened to my steel? Are we just eating it all? I think it's just too slow. I think I think I get that um get that furnace going a bit better. Oh my god, I didn't automate that. Oh man, what a noob. I didn't put the building down, I put a ghost building down. I need quite negative on power now. So I'm a bit scared to expand it because I'm going to get some pollution, but I will expand it. So basically what they'll do is they'll keep expanding retirement age um, slowly. And I'll keep reducing the benefits, benefits slowly until eventually you get to what I just propose back to how the original plan was. It's four years. Because the, the original people actually mathed it out how much money is saved, how much is actually going to last. And yeah, you're not supposed to be li living around for 20, 30 years not working. Which means life expectancies will drop back down to retirement age as well. Because you, are, you have no health care. And so I won't be able to afford to uh, do anything. You basically just, uh, you, get, you get sick once and you're done. So everyone's life expectancy is a drop right down. That's my future outlook anyway. It looks like this uh, coal is not working out so well. So I might have to splice it in earlier. Looks like... Uh... Yeah. What I can say is make sure you got a massive amount of savings built up and, and put into assets. Otherwise you are stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. I think that'll help it out. I wasn't really getting enough. We'll do a priority, input priority, um, existing patch so we drain it. Actually, that, that, that's actually on top of the patch as well, so... Um, we'll build it out to the west fifth. Ah... Oh. Hmm... We'll put one more extra button here. But yeah, I'm a bit of a realist when it comes to money. Most people um, are delusional. Most people don't math anything in their lives at all. They just rely on other people to say it's all going to be great. Don't be don't be negative, Nancy. But that doesn't mean you're going to have a good life outcome. <laughs> it means you have a delusional outcome. Because that should be enough power when that gets going. We just need to get the water pipes in. Nothing needs... 
900 second. I think my flow rate's okay still. I think it's about a thousand. You can't do that. I think it's too far away. Yeah, that pollution might get a bit nasty though. Yeah, so I think it's time we automate the green chips. So we need to get these. So they have art circuits just for making efficiency modules. It's this area here, the sand bugs me, eh? Like, it's just so bad. I need more concrete. I might go grab that concrete just for um, walking purposes. Not that I need to walk down there very often, but. Can I grab half of it? Why not invest in your people? Invest a moderate amount at birth. Depend on interest rate and not let it be touched to a retirement age. Additional funds could be deposited to make life easier for later life. Pay out as retirement. Yeah, it's a nice idea, but I mean, then just everything just inflates in value so that million dollars is worthless. But it's impossible for everyone to have the million dollars equivalent because then the price of everything will be half million dollars <laughs> you can't buy anything with that million dollars anymore the whole scheme is set up so that only so many, a fixed number like say like 10% of the population can actually be properly retired without creating massive um, inflation so right now we've got inflation it's because the boomers are retired at the same time and when you're retired all you do is spend all your money you don't accumulate money anymore you spend it all and so all that spending there's this endless supply of inflation. So we're going to have inflation for like the next 20, 30 years because of boomers until they die. And then we have massive deflation because the population of the world will decrease. So inflation is actually a positive thing, by the way. People are very anti-inflation, but it means that the society, the world's growing. When you have deflation, it's actually very negative typically because the world's contracting and less opportunities. But everyone looks at it the other way because everyone wants to maintain their current quality of life. So they like deflation as an individual. But as a society, deflation is like the end times for your country. It means your country is um, shrinking. And our society is all designed on these schemes with endless inflation. So if you don't have endless inflation, uh, nothing is funded. It's all funded by funny, ma funny compound math where... Uh, all this debt compounds forever never gets paid off but the real currency of the world is the debt market it's all unfunded and eventually everyone decides at the same time to default on their debts because they, they realize that we can't pay it off anymore and then you have a reset of the whole system and that happens every like you know 80 to 100 years the last one was the 1930s, everyone defaulted, then we had World War II. So we're probably having a similar thing again, maybe in the 2030s or late this decade, we might get everyone starts defaulting, and uh, then, we, then we all get a nice war, and then afterwards we have all, all be a new, uh, all new baby boomer generation gets born. From, from Gen, I guess Z, Z and Alpha's kids will be the new boomers. Or something like that. But massive uh, long-term cycle. But yeah, our system can't, like, we can't do any different than we do them. Because it's, uh, it's this all make-believe math. <laughs> There's no ability to fund all this stuff unless you have, like, no benefits. And no one likes no benefits. Everyone wants all the benefits. Okay, we're going to build this tank. Where's my tank? Oh yeah. So I could build this flame tank. I was kind of keen to build this flame tank. We need nine more engines. We could try the flame tank out. It's pretty tanky. And go make some fuel. I had fun with that in a previous run. So we need, fl we need this. Flame for our ammo. We need crude and steel plates. The problem is that crude is way down the south and the steel is way up here. I didn't think about that. Um, I could manually bring some steel down to it. Looks like the steel's a bit sad, but we might be able to go okay when we get this going. I 
Let's see what I... I don't think the flow rate for this is fast enough, but we'll find out. I think this can't handle it. It needs 10 a second on the iron ore, so I'd have to increase the belts, the red belts, to get that going. Which is, I could do. It's not like an impossible, it's just that I haven't built red belts yet. And the other way I do it is like to create a second blue belt, a second yellow belt, and side load it. Um, halfway along, what actually I can't do. You could do like an underground of a room. Like here, I could side load into there maybe. Oh, no, I can't. I can't side load. There's no room for that. So yeah, the, what, what I just did is it doesn't do anything. This doesn't increase the speed of the steel, but if I got faster belts, it would. It would work. How's my pollution? I'm very worried uh, about biters. I've got this flame tank, but I can't actually use it. I shouldn't have crafted it. I was a bit of a noob. I should have waited and got this thing. Uh, I guess pick up. I just manually craft this actually. So four steel plates. I'm just into the steel line. There's all in the end here. Um, and some red chips, eh? Engines and red chips. And engines. Hey, engines. Boom! Got me a tank. Let's see how that goes. Now, I've got no uh, ammo for it. We haven't got cannon shells. Um, they're not too bad to make, actually. Steel plastic explosives. We've got plastic explosives. We've got steel. There's not have much of it around here, that's all. Um, is that plastic spear? Is there plastic spear? It says 0.5 is spare, so we can move the steel off the end here. And make explosives. Uh, maybe up here it might be a bit of a bit of a sad state. Oh, that exp explosive ones. Um, I see. That's actually really cheap. That's really great. We just do explosive cannon shells. Pop off some baddies. Oh, we're gonna. I haven't picked up more. Um, Red chippers. We need these guys. Plastic. No! Oh my god, where's my undergrounds? Get off my belt. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> it's like telling someone to get off your lawn. Oh, I'll do it again. Yeah, okay. You just expect to have like a certain item, right? And you don't. Ex and it doesn't show up that it's there. It's like, huh? Um, and we got the explosives in this. We can skill out the back. Tidy skill issue. Totally. Oh, we can't do that. Um, no, we go. Ah, oh, but it's also going to have a builder. I'll put the right is plastic. And then go straight in. Oh, actually, no, I can't go on. And um, that goes in. Yeah. Cool. That's explosive kinder shells. Five, I think fifty. Actually, no, maybe twenty. I don't need many. Just to pop off some nests, you know.
Here we go. Looks like not a plastic spare, but... They'll sort themselves out. Now I need to get the... Um, I could swap this to being efficiency modules instead. That might be a better idea. See, we don't need them right now. We do need deficiencies. I might give them a spare chest to input the um, green chips in from two. Um, there you go. And you... Oh, they're running out of steel. Yeah, still is kind of kind of sad. Right, we're gonna go down here and wipe these guys out. This guy, this looks like I'm gonna reach this first though, which means I need a bunch of lasers down here and a bunch of like I can either go big power now, and then get the lasers under it. Um, but my better is to grind out, do nothing, just grind out to um, uranium, and get um nuclear power plant up, and then build big lasers. So I don't think we can go to the Lunar without defending myself from um, the Biters. And we could grind it out, but we have to like be a bit conservative on the expansion without building heavily on defenses. This thing seems pretty good though. We got my tank. We've got a flame tank too, but we can't really use that. Um. Carrying a bit much, but... Oh yeah, we've got the modular armor. We actually put some stuff in here too. Are we going to do personal reports? I've actually researched that. Have I got reports? Have I got uh, robots available? I don't think I had them. I do. Huh. Not that I got the power for that either. Um, that's probably enough to go out. 12 explosives. Start. Put my my uh, some trash in here. Lab. Crap! I need this stuff in my pocket. Eh? It's just kind of accumulate this stuff. One wall. I mean, that ain't gonna help me. I uh, don't need the brick. Uh, one car too many. I'll leave the flame tank behind, we're not going to use it for now. Yeah, that'll do. A bit more space. Okay, let's go for a drive. We've got this ammo now too, so it might be actually easier to deal with the nests. It's amazing this one here, the oil, it's just like no pollution at all, because the forest... This thing's insane. I can't really cover- I can't like- well, I guess I could, I just make bullets from this thing. And defend, like make a bullet line. So I make like heaps of belts, power poles, walls. Which I think, speaking of walls, I'm not making walls yet. I mean I got them for science, but um, I haven't got a spare wall production. Which I think I should do. So I'll go add that to the list. I've only got three lasers, man. I think my power plant can't really do much anyway. We're like, our, power, our lasers won't do much when I attack. And they're a bit sad. Oh, yeah, I need red setters. Bone setters? Um. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, undergrounds. That is a few belts. Power poles are fine. Medium poles, maybe. Bullets is more than fine. Turrets is fine. I guess let's keep grinding out what we need. Which was the oh, that's pretty good actually. Utility, but we want that. That's what we really want. Arc furnace. Interesting. 
So you need this to get the uh, moon stuff anyway. Rich moon rock processing. I'll go bring the... I'll bring some power down with me. Let's go find a connection. Oh, we've got that one, so we can extend that. Or I can do a new one out this way. I might just extend that one. I put some more tanks down so this thing's um, not so sad. It's like that's something. Keep my train busy. There should be a radar group down here. I swear I had a rock there. But it wasn't a rock. It's like a fake rock. There's no new nest in the way. I'm gonna get to this gap and um, beach head. Oh, it's a bit, of a bit of a cliff problem here. That'll do. Is that too close to the nest? That's definitely too close, I think. Um, tell you what. I'll leave the car there, but I'll move this into the forest. Yeah, okay. Some radars here. I guess they're wasting a lot of power as well, actually, the ones up north doing this, because they... Each one's 300 uh, kilowatts. We do like a group. That's like 1.5 megawatts of constant power use. So I actually got 6 megawatts of these radars. So I could actually save a bit of power getting rid of these ones out there. So I think at this one here I got down to 1. And the other ones are kind of okay. They were already at 1. They're like bare bones covering my base. This one's got way too many. We got how many got here? It's like almost ten. A big nest down there. We hit the one tile of water. Down here. Back into their bases. I was going to power actually in case I needed to uh, laser kill away. I mean, technically, I could leave their nests alone to not push the evolution. Um, but I think we're going to push them back so we can put a wall up. Here's where we put the wall. I think the wall should be here, to be honest. This is a good choke point on the cliffs. We can put the wall behind this, and they're going to run up here. Throw another wall up this waterway. Um, so they're going to wipe all these nests out. Probably that one too. There's a lot of nests. I don't really want them expanding towards me, so the desert has to be killed. Going up here doesn't really matter, it's just like leave the forest alone, but the desert's got to be claimed, I think. I, to, I think I must wall this whole thing off, just like this whole thing here. And that should be the main walling point, so this north part probably be fine. 
I don't think the pollution will push out here very easily. But I think going like this will get pushed. This 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 will go attack, they'll run around. And attack here. That's what this one here will push them to run around here. And run around here. So like here and here and here and there are the main choke points that need defending. I don't know what lasers are needed, we just use flamers. I believe flamers, I could do a train network for that. Um, we got plenty of oil available here and here. Plus I could croak. If I claim that oil there, I could actually just flamer this. That might be better, if I flamed a turret, um, it's easy to defend a flame turret wall. Think of this, this is a flame turret rather than bullets. Kind of no brain brainer to defend it. Anyway, I should try the tank out. Not sure I got a good fuel for it. This looks nasty at night time. Thanks to fellow fiery boy. Welcome aboard. Alright. I don't think I want well I could I could drive around and then hit a tree. There's a rock there's a lot of rocks. Very scared of these rocks. Now if I get the Cannon. Um, we do have some turret ammo. We could actually use the bullets. Yep. To the firing range of this. We're going to put some turrets down to defend me. And pop up. Okay, so we can't reach from there. Almost though. It's not bad. We don't really need to kill those worms, to be honest. Wish you can see your max range, actually. That'd be a better visual aid. You can't see it. It kind of sucks. You can kind of guess, though. Tanks by a tank here. I have to repair it now. I'm a little bit impaired by the um, spitters. That's way easier. How many bullets I use for that? I use 10, 10 shells, there's two nests left. Okay, we'll fire the last two shot at this thing, see if I get lucky. There we go. I've been using the landmines on these. Yeah. This saves bullets, because those bullets are kind of expensive. That's quite amazing, actually, just, just 12 shells. That whole nest is easy to clean out. Stink birds, eh? This is a lot of these though, these days. I can probably just drive through his base.
Yeah, and I could have I could have mixed it up with landmines. The same the planet means no more humans, right? I mean the planet's got a few billion years left in it. What's a few billion years? I mean I still think like something like pigeons or something could become a sentient one day. Or, or dolphins or something. Okay, let's go on um landmine it instead. How's the fuel on this thing? Not the best. Um, we'll landmine this one. Let's charge through. That's so much smarter. Yeah, fuck bullets. That's easy mode. Jesus. Easy mode. Let's drive them over them too, which is the other fun thing. Oh, yeah. Dolphins would probably already rule the world if they were weren't aquatic. Yeah, I think dolphins are struggle though, because you get no um. See, the only reason humans are good is because we've got this thumb. The thumb is the only thing we've got that's good. And that was like a mutation from some tree squirrel. 30 million years ago. So thank the tree squirrel for um, being a mutant thumb. <laughs> Alright. One more nest to go. Oh, we got 121 ammo, and it's not much. Well, it's got a lot of worms, this one. Might be trouble. Let's see how we go. Put up some speed. Make sure we got fuel. Alright, let's get ready. There we go. Oh. So easy. Who needs cannon shells? Who needs cannon shells? Yeah, it's gonna take 35 minutes to research that nuclear power. That's a long time. Um, we probably can do some actual. We probably can push out a bit more on these biters then. Can we attack somewhere else? No, it's just the landmines. Um. Can I wipe out those three in case they expand? Oh, maybe I do. I'm thinking of that one too as well. Just for the perimeter. And it's got stone there. I know you're new to the game, but it should be pretty obvious that killing bug bases with your face isn't very efficient, right? Why isn't it very efficient, Fado? Huh? What's the what's the better way of killing bugs? I can smash them. I can smash them, you know? Smash them. Go north. Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we a bug fan club? Oh. Keep the bugs, keep the bugs happy. I'm gonna smash them. Smash them into little pieces. I'm gonna crush them. No bugs. No bunnies. Um, oh, I got 58 landmines left. Let's see if we've enough for this. Might be a bit tough. A bit stuck on that rock there, buddy. 
Dude, that was a bit slow. Bit rough that one. I was stuck on a rock for ages. My truck, my tank was too slow. It was like pushing, pushing um, a, a rock, rock up a mountain. We got two landmines left. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we we're good. We can't really. I can't go any further in though. I think. Um, we can go back and get some more landmines. I have to change the buffer to 400 as well. I don't think 200 buff is enough for uh, these uh, little adventures. So how's it going, Fader? Anyway, how's your uh, Factorio? When are you when are you um, up to? Are you trying this mod pack out? We need some other things. Wish my sights was better though. Wish it was better. If only. If only. Oh, that's about close to the train. Um, we're done. We need some basic stuff. How many lasers we got? Not many, eh? Still tinkering with Kate 2 sc Right now I'm watching my space-based death laser melt bugs. Oh yeah, I love those energy beams, eh? So good. So much fun. 400. I mean, do get 20 more cannon shells, which I, I could keep them, but I don't think we need these. They're like a nice little... I mean, we could go... Uh, uh, flame, of fuel, flame, flame of fuel would actually be the better thing for my tank, I think. I think the bullets is no good on the tank. I think the ca tank's design is uh, more range-based, because you got all the, all the close range is already good. Yeah, I would like to... Uh, I would like to do more K2SC. Maybe I'll flip over to that later on tonight. If my friends aren't on. Oh, we need repair packs. Do I have a repair pack automation? That's a very important question. I don't seem to have any around. I don't see it. I don't see repair packs. I don't think we automate them. I mean, I think I just make them when I need to. So we'll just go add them down the bottom here. Um, here's a good place to see any, or maybe one above it. Because that's when I die, I kind of run, run this way, don't I? Here we, here these repair packs might be useful. Here we go. I swear it's three items for a repair pack, not two. And that's got a different EC recipe or something that I'm used to. Um, I think... Oh, we do 50, it's fine. I won't need 50, but... Um, um, be more like that. Amen. 
All right. I got my 50. 50 goodies. What do you reckon? Looks like we got them. Damn. All right, wait. What about, um... Yeah, we definitely need these efficiency modules. Let's go have a look. Cause I want to add them to my mining outpost. I might as well drive to it. Don't like these pipes like this. I think we're going to hit them at some point. Um, got 50. Is that? Do I only make 50? I do. I think we go for 200, mate. Alright, I got heaps of. Okay, we we can go. We can go go get rid of some biters again. Because this research is going to take a while. Even though I could be automating like robots and stuff, um, it's kind of pointless because i got no power and no resources to to protect. And i got no... yeah. I basically need nuclear power. So I have less pollution as well. No, we can't drive through there, can we? And this, this, this grass is a bit trippy. Weird, um, weird... Just generated weird. Man, there's so many rocks, we can't really get through anywhere. Here we go. Alright. Give me your tank out. Get the fuel. Oh, I forgot to get more fuel. But that's alright. Guys, are right. Looks like one stray in the forest. It's the final delta. Hi, Valet. Eh? Who are you hiding? The Brayrano. I thought you were here, but you it disappeared. So this would be hard on. The paint, you know. Yeah, I think my paint's getting scratched up for sure. Tell you what, I'll um, what? Uh. There we go. A new paint job. How's that look? Gonna bring some peace, peace and quiet to these lands. Did I fire that? Does it auto fire or something? I don't know. What is this GTA? Now the bugs won't recognize you. Is your star rating drops? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I changed sides and now I'm not a team people. Uh, they're like, ah, oh, we, we respect team people. Alright, probably should put some. Um, I'll get. Can I put a radar? I can't. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Where do we go next? Do I go down? Do I wipe out this whole entire continent? That's why I did that in my EC game. I wiped out all these guys and choke point down here in that game. Which seems a bit excessive, but it's all desert, so. If you want a big base, you kind of have to like wipe out these little esters. But my, I'm pushing evolution up a bit fast from my killing endeavors. But maybe that's worth it.
It'd be nice if you carried a preset loadout though, not have to um, re put the items in each time. That's okay. I enjoyed playing Grand Theft GTA 5 on the console though in 2013, that was fun. It was so good that the Xbox I was playing on uh, overheated and died with the red, red circle. Because consoles are designed so well back then. Best, best quality consoles. I mean, you think PCs are bad, but then you get a console and they just, just die. Just cause. What the hell is a triangle here? What's this triangle? What's that triangle on the map? What the hell? This forest looks a bit dubious. So why is that? Why are they so fast? Talk about some swamps. The locals don't like me, that's for sure. Night time. I mean, if this game was like, uh, you know, if this scale game is 3D, it'd be absolutely insane, like, how long it would take you to traverse in a 3D world. Like, like the, the map I've currently got is probably the whole map of uh, Satisfactory, for instance. But it feels like it's not that big, you know what I mean? Like, because of the way that the game is designed. Besides the fact your guys are giant. You can traverse like kilometers a second. These guys are real persistent. I thought they would have given up. Alright, we're gonna wipe this one down here on this border. Need a bit long call. We're okay. Alright, let's see what charging. Top of that one, I wonder why that nest was doing so much damage. Maybe the splitters are um, landing their target. That's why I need the um, row port, not pocket, pocket row port though. Just so I can handcraft repairing faster. Get this thing built. I should automate solar panels anyway. The rocks and stuff I hit. It's only meeting worms, they're not that tough. But... So I could like wipe out all these and choke up here and down here. I'm still thinking of choking this and not bothering with this because it's forest. But I could actually choke up here as well instead and then choke that. I think that's the easiest choke to protect. Um, that one there is probably the nastiest if I think about it. I probably have to wipe out these two nests though. In the, in the medium term. They might, you know, expand into here from these nests, but until they do, it's not a problem. Why did it get damaged again? Was there another... That's so weird, I fully repaired it. But it was damaged when I just looked at it then. Yeah, anyway, we're going to the North East and reclaim my um, radars because they're kind of a bit obnoxious. 
Now we could drive east to get to it. I think we go north though. Not a desert. I'm sure I need that radar, but we'll leave it there anyway. No, I don't have radar in like dead spots, but just in, in your base and then like um, the perimeter. It's right here anyway, it's way across the east, eh? Yeah. Let's follow the orange um, wires. Oh, that was close. I don't. Save a bit of power. Um, we could go do another one. We could wire from here all the way down to here or something. Um, I think that's a good idea. I don't know how mark stuff the map really accurately. But we try to drive over this uh, gap here. I think shallow water you can go over. I don't, I don't think there's enough shallow water. I don't know if that's bridgeable. Let's get down to the channel, I think. I need to set up some train mines um, after this. For resources, even though I don't um, connect them up like, properly. I need a lot more resources to process. My base. These butters are going to be problematic, I think. Oh, it's been nice in the way. One more oil. I try to forget about the power lines. I was supposed to be power lining this whole way, and I wasn't. I ended up just driving down instead. Bit of a rookie. Now I could uh, do the solar panel situation. We could do one solar panel. You have an idea? AI right, adverts. Okay. Always food of you, Valdek. It's always food. Oh shit. That was a bit lucky. Food, food, food. We like the food. Oh, more nest. I'm gonna have to go north though. Get out of here. Uh, I have to get rid of these butters. These ones here need, probably need a cull. They're on the edge of my pollution cloud. I'm far enough away. And come back and get rid of this one. We're about to hit 50% though, which is a bit troubling. 
A little bit low on coal as well. Nest actually. There's like a whole percentage of evolution though. Um, I don't think I need to kill this one right now. That one's more because it's going to spawn nests in this area. I think that there's no problem, so I have to get defenses down here. I do a laser line. I line down there and put like a bunch of lasers here. That probably do. Otherwise, we do another ones up here as the other spot. So I do there and there right now. I think the only two spots I need to protect. Put five lasers in each and hope that's enough. That's more for like in the chance they do create a nest that gets in range. And then at least I know about it. Now I saw some of my clever strat they put off offshore um, bases with lasers and other things with landfill. Not that I can hand oh, I can handcraft landfill. I'll just handcraft some landfill then. Shit. Why not? Um the other areas you'd like to do like an offshore thing. Put your defenses on it. So, where's the best corner? It's gonna be like in here. Eh? Is that all my name? Oh, I think, or oh, I can't even fit. Ah, uh, and I can do like this with one laser. It's something. It's something. Not the best situation, but it's something. Yeah, it's pretty sad, I know, but uh, we can we can put some radar here, and then we'll just bring it back. Oh, I actually want some real lasers though, so one, two, three, four, and that'll do. I'm gonna put some defenses down. Uh, I think pipe is the best defense right now. Something like that. I'll let them go, run around if they feel like it. What's I driving around my tank there? Silly me. NZ Springvale beef didn't pay for advertisements, so all the recipes will say hash to perfect beef. Hash to perfect, eh? What a brand. What a brand. You got a brand there, but I don't. Not pasta perfect, it's not. It's not beef. It's gonna be pasta perfect beef. Alright, let's go all the way back home. We can actually just go to the mine. We've got a um iron mine here. Now, do we have any miners? Okay, 18. I can expand this now. I don't think I need to, but I think I feel I should. Could be a bit faster. Really? No power? Why not? They use real and using companies in the above. Really? They they actually exist? Ah. 
fooled me. Nelson's actually got a few kills. Did it right for itself, actually. Don't know why that's actually strong enough. Uh, we can. I mean, uh, think of lasers, right? Is they have this. Uh, oh, it's only 24 kilowatt min draw. It's actually not too bad. I thought they had a lot more min draw. That's why I don't like them, but that's actually not too bad min draw. That'll do. Better than zero. And we can do the same on the southwest. Um, we can just go straight down here. Well, I kind of feel like we should pull power lines through here anyway, so maybe I'll do that now. The future me is not annoyed that I've got no power there when I need it. Oh, hit some rocks, of course. I don't think enough power poles. I have to go back. Yeah. I thought we have enough to go the whole way, but... That's uh, two ore patches we need. There's a stone patch I need as well. I don't remember that, where that was. I know there's one here we could, could get and defend it. Which is a really big one. Got so few defenses. That there will get triggered. I think uh, this one might not be so important, but I think this one definitely is important. So we're gonna go back and get some more la um, not lasers, um, outlines. And I've got a bunch of efficiency modules I can plonk in. We're putting 200 apparently. I might be doing a bit much prep, but I could actually be building quite a bit of base right now, but I'm just don't want to really waste my time with more power plants and stuff. I, um, Go straight to nuclear. <laughs> so we got heaps of lasers. How many got? 34. Yeah, so steel's actually been decent. Landmines, we got down to 168, so. Yep. And what was the ammo? We also got 29, I don't even need that 20. Uh, we got 56 emergency modules. Is that all? I've already got 50 in my pocket though. Now I should actually, uh, now when you prod these, you lose 10% but gain 8%, so that's definitely worth it. We'll just do two of those. Most of my labs aren't really going anywhere. But these sort of things, I mean, how is it? Is it? So it drops, the first one drops at bomb 270 to 147. I think the last one doesn't really work out. You only get 20%, and the other is 30%. So two is the optimal for this. Hey Mike, welcome, welcome. And these ones, I think two is probably the best in all these. Hello there. Can you even take three? No, they can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 It's a bit of wake up again. Oh, this, those bottom two don't really do anything. I 
Oh, there's a guy again, really? Why would they be going? Oh, because they're filling the chest up on the buffer, I see. These should actually be production modules, but I'm going to finish it for now because they are uh, kind of low, pro low priority. I could do a big strong explosive though. This is actually uh, real fun. The landmine damage is really good. Oh, we can do logistic robots. I thought there was ah, oh, it's requested chests I can't do. I see. Green strip modules, prod modules, science. Oh, I've got no prod modules currently. That's all. That's the only reason. But yeah, there should be prod modules for sure. I put them in the these ones and these ones, but I ran out. I was actually supposed to do with the mining um, situation. I might swap them out actually. Good thinking. I'll take them out. Um, it was supposed to be for the mining situation. Anyway. My mines are very, very uh, fluty. I've got so much. Uh, so much going on. But I was going to have a field day with me when I don't watch it. Um, yeah, I was trying to get some of the, some of the things that were low, high, high volume, efficient, that's all. These things like, I don't know, they sort of have a, when they, when they make stuff they pollute. The most of them are idle, so they kind of don't need to be uh, boosted. Hey, how's it going, Mike? Did you uh, stream today? I don't think you did. I saw you on yesterday. But I was busy in the office today anyway, so I couldn't see. Even if you were, but I saw Dam's one earlier. I, I don't know if she's still on or not, but um, she'll probably just stop by now. I'm sure on a couple of hours ago, though. Alright, that should help it out. My little one efficiency module. I should get rod module there too. We could do one over here. One sad guy. One prod module. I'm a bit poor. I need us I need to get less poor. I'm gonna work on my um my lack of wealth. Uh, yeah, you can. You know my green modules. Fine. Not that we can make many of them, but it, it'll make some while we're busy on the wilds. I'm trying to kill these biters. I think we got to uh, laser that down there. And then we can start building. I'm just gonna grab some um, power lines. We got more lasers than I can actually uh, power, but in theory, the lasers are only occasionally going. That should be fine. Like I gotta say, tank plus landmines is is uh, something else. Tank landmines is um, really really fun. What's that power line's up to? It was around here. Oh yeah. 
Okay, should we gonna repair in the back of this oh, way? Oh, I forgot to get more landfill. I was gonna create another island defense, but I forgot about that. Oh well. Um, this should be uh, up here, and this one should be over here somewhere. Down here is no good because it's gonna get destroyed. It's very fun. Then use the medium poles. Shout. Alright, where's my defense gonna go? We want this corner covered, so. Now we kind of want splitting coverage. But not really worried about it if I get hit. They might be. Oh, they're on the corner still, they can reach. Yeah. As long as we're kind of capturing this corner, I'm happy. That should be enough, I think. You don't actually get attacked that badly when they do these things. I guess when they get like behemoths and shit, that will not be enough, but um... That's a long way off at this point. Oh, I didn't bring a ra- oh, I got a raider. I have one raider here too. A bit of ex exploration. Now that one's- that scoping one's going good. We're gonna hook these up, I don't even need to. There's this stone patch, I kinda want that stone patch to be a mine. Uh, and a train line all the way back. I think my stone is not that good, we got 54k. We're not really using the stone that much right now, but... The thing we're making is actually the iron. I need a brand new um, iron furnace set up, probably in this forest here. We could do another one here though, that we haven't con we haven't imposed too much and this, this terrain here could be all furnace arrays. That wouldn't be the worst idea. No, we need a raid on the east side of the base. That's not there either. I think this the those prod mods here must have helped a bit because um this is slowed it down. I'm actually all going now. Almost. That's that's a danger there, but they should be all getting hit pretty quickly. Now if they run around here and attack, that's kind of annoying, but uh it's, this is just we're just covering the corners in case that we have pollution gets a bit in their face. That is what I want. I want this thing. So... Took some landmines to remove. I probably need, um... Bots. I gotta automate that bot little building. Turns out picking up landmines is quite slow. Okay. Oh, I've got no electric miners, really? Come oh, man. Slacking. Um That'll do. Future me will deal with that. I could do the belts and stuff now, but... 
Oh, I don't even have the power poles, do I? We've moved away from um, those sad power poles. Yeah, it sucks. We can't even, um, ghost on top of them. So have to manually click again. I mean, I could go carry around a whole bunch of, um, the wood, wood, woody guys. But not the worst building. Oh my god, is this when you misclick? It's kind of frustrating. It's better doing this sort of thing. Like, so this doesn't actually make any pollution. It's like the whole setup ready to go. And all I do is add and um. I should get the bots in my pocket though, so I have to just manually again. Um, it's just basically that they are. I mean, that's kind of sad, but that will do. Like that. If there's no price tag on the shelf near the goods. Doesn't mean it's free. Uh. Bell deck. What are you talking about? What are you on about? I mean be honest, most people aren't paid enough to care about these sort of mistakes anymore, right? That's their perception. This entitlement mentality of society is growing. Everyone feels entitled to like XYZ. A society actually doesn't deserve XYZ, but they think they deserve it because like their parents had it. But they think they should get it too. Thing is though, we live in different times. And but people don't like losing their, you know, what they can get already. So they just work, have, the work ethic just goes to shit because everyone thinks they deserve more. This is the byproduct. Hey, what's that? Doesn't look right. Does not look right at all. What are we doing here? Jeez. I think we need the extra split. I don't think we normally do that. That's like a dumb. Let me just do side, some other side thing, I don't think that's what we're doing now. Where's the power? We're just going to the south or the north, we could go either way I guess. We are going to need defences here, but... Not sure how many in where. We're going okay, north. There we go. I could add a defense up in this corner here. In case they come through. I don't think they will, but you never know. It's always good to do like those sneaky things like back here. They're gonna run around a bit before they get you. I could put some landmines down. To 
just to fun. Just to make the fighters have to work work for their uh, territory they try to gain off me. But that'll do, and then we just pipes in. I also told some employee during checkout. I asked them to correct their mistake, but they were oblivious. This jury doesn't care, it won't reach high salary. True. A lot of people want to be paid night like surfs, right? So they'll become serfs. Neo serfdom is here. Alright, let's go bring this uh, train line back home. We've only got 192 rails though, so it might be a bit um, cutting some corners to get there. Oh, there's a cliff in the way. We've only got. I need cliff explodes as well. I forgot to automate that, but I can do it. It is doable. Now where do I bring this anyway? Do I bring it to the south side where the stone mine is? Okay, that's what I normally do. I'd bring it to the existing belt infrastructure and just hook it in. I could just plonk it there. We can go way east. We got heaps of oil here actually. Might be reusing this track. But to me it sounds like petty legislation verdict for uh like if you made them legislate that there wouldn't be any shells with anything that's like people just then rip up they'd go into the store and steal the price tags and then then just take the goods because they're free like you're just encouraging thieves <laughs> well you're an honest actor but uh yeah that's not how society works so usually like weird things like that this one sack does take advantage of it because it's an exception. There's always exceptions correct problems. Why blank rules in society are the best rules? Like as soon as you create exceptions for one group, everyone wants that exception. Otherwise it's unfair. So That's why like, you know, goods and service tax is actually really good because it it taxes the black market as well as the normal market because eventually you're going to spend your money and spending your money is the best way of um, actually collecting taxes. Collecting taxes at source is the worst way. So income taxes are the worst and spending taxes is the best. Running out of fuel? What? Really? Oh man. I mean, income taxes are only put in place to tax the top 1%. That was, that was the design of income taxes. That's what was sold to the population 100 years ago. But you know how that went. Any tax that's sold to you that's going to tax only the 1% is actually designed to tax everyone. So, and everyone like votes for it willingly because like, yeah, tax sucker, we're going to get the money off the rich. But then they are the suckers because they just tax themselves. Their, their children, their grandchildren are going to pay those taxes. They're not going to pay them, but they... they very along the line they will in their family line but they don't think that way but the rich know because they encourage that tax in the first place the rich encourage taxes because they want to move their money into another scheme so once once the schemes be maxed out and everyone's like making money off it the rich want to move to a new scheme and so they start taxing the old scheme lots because that's when all the um, middle class and everyone else is in there. So you'll see like taxes on houses go through the roof over the next 20 years because they're going to take all the money off the boomers. You're going to get the taxes back somehow. I think that's too many turrets. I don't think we need that many turrets in my pocket. 
Definitely more landmines. Um, what else do we need? Well, we're going to build train tracks. We need a whole bunch of rails. We need some more belts. I can't use a few belts then. I'm not sure you can buy Texas though, um, Veldo. I'm not sure it's a viable um, purchase. Looking around, that's probably enough. We'll see. I got to there with 200 rails, so 600 should get to there. Okay, that radar station up there worked out really well in the end. And this new one is... is that done as well? I think it might be done as well. I might better grab that on the way back. Oh no, it's still going. It's still digging in. Oh no, it's that radar. This radar might be done because it's not doing any out here. It looks visually like that is... Was that three times the, the, that thing? It doesn't look like quite three times. A bad habit of going with controversial opinions. Yeah, my problem is um, I usually have quite conservative companions because I'm usually like depressed. But as soon as I get happy for a day, I'm, I sound like a delu delusional weirdo. So I've got to really maintain my um, depressed situation. Otherwise, uh, I offend people. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a delusional madman if I um, become a happy person. Not a good, not a good uh, way to be. But slowly, slowly down regulate myself. Tone it down. Dial it back. Dial it back. I mean, if you want representation, you've got to pay taxes. So everyone should enjoy paying taxes if you want to be part of society. If you don't want to be part of society, you're welcome to go live in a cave and see how well that goes. I mean, I bet even the cave people have a, their own tax system. You know, you got to pay rent to live in that cave, right, with the other cave people. Otherwise, they kick you out. And then they, make you, they force you to go to real society again. Oh, we're going to use the Chi McCheat face, this thing. This is really good for getting rid of rocks. This is the rock clearer. King Rock. Really? It's not Lee Me? Okay, it's working now. Yeah, rocks are dumb in this game. I'm not really interested in picking rocks off the ground. Man, this hates rocks here. This is crazy. Wow, we've got logic bots. I mean, besides actually kind of rocketing, I didn't think it was uh, that good, but I I kind of rate limited the uh, green and red. It seems to be okay now. Okay, that's okay. It's, it's, I don't think I can pick that up. That's like the perfect number, but that wasn't there. Yeah, we won off. Damn it. We leave a little chest here. Oh, actually, no, we put it into my car. We could do storage loot. Oh, the 2x2s two are really good. I like these these buildings. Um, we we'll probably go to. We might even do projectile damage at this point. I'll probably get laser damage and stuff, though. Laser. Laser. First tier and the second tier of both are very uh, cheap. I think it's real expensive. Uh, I'm probably going to get these. Rook cargo size. Yeah, sure. Rook speed. I'll do. 
a whole bunch of science. I mean, we're kind of like getting all the science before I need to get there. Now, I should actually automate uh, nuclear. I forgot about that. I was so fixated on getting this uh, train line done. Oh, we missed, we missed the tree. We dodged the tree. Holy shit. Okay, whatever. Fucking trees, man. Maybe got some rocks. I mean, it's not that bad to pick them up, but it's just... It's oost, right? It's oost, oost prevention by uh, not having to pick them up. Game should respect my... My wrist. Which one of two more hollows talked about hobby and work? Oh man, I don't, I don't even know. I think I've been happy with my for like uh, two weeks now, I'd say. So I don't know, was that inside inside that time period? The last two weeks, or was it outside that two weeks? I think it's like the longest stretch of happiness I've had for like years. But I was like miserable for like a year. So that's pretty uh you know, you gotta get a bit of bit of rotation. There's the other Mahalik. Doomy Mahalik. The realist. So it wasn't delusional then, right? It was just being negative. Okay, we're gonna go right past this train on this. Alright, let's go dig this up too. Uh, I'm not gonna mine the uh, uranium with this vehicle. I haven't checked that. We kind of exploit if I can. Let's have a look. Oh, I just I just mown down the bloody. Outline. I don't think it's mining it. I think it's too tough. Yeah, that's good. No exploit. That's a long train line though. So, I don't really have any access to uh, closer good stone patches. And I kind of want good patches, not like, I don't want to set up an outpost and it lasts me like, you know, a couple hours and I have to go, go get another one. I like the idea of getting a real in-game outpost. I think we're going north from here, to be honest. We are, yeah, we're actually overshot. Um, yeah, need barrel sulfuric acid of that ID SSI vehicle. Barrels of sulfuric, reckon? Cool, could do. Alright, we're gonna um, send it north before the uranium patch, I think. Yeah, it is AI vehicles. I really like AI vehicles for um, early game. Um. No. Ah, uh, damn it, one tile cliff on the way. How close are we to my goal? Not too much further. Go away, rocks. How's it going, Tony? You having a good day? 
Everything's going well. Are you kicking, kicking around? Or are you screaming around? Oh, we went too far. Um, I gotta drive a train drop off. I want to do. Uh, actually, I could do there, I guess. Not a really good spot, but it's not the worst spot. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. We might have to unload in inwards though, because this pipes are in the way. Have a look. We could try to move those pipes, I guess. Oh, we can send it north. Right there would work. I don't know where the line up with this is. We don't need this uh, belt line though, where it is. I like this train station. Such an easy design. Works in so many of my games. I just do these basic one-to-one uh, -one train tracks and I share. Um, share like paths. Oh. Oh yeah. There we go. Cool. I'm just going to find this coal which is right there. Um, why is that not connected up? I got these poles, these shit ones, because they're annoying. Shipbird, shipbirds. Yeah, there you go. I've just been seeing our post on the internet that we co-pilot for managers. Delusional managers, you reckon? I think Copilot's pretty good. I've barely touched it. My first look at today was doing some uh make a process flow. It's good for like tips. I wouldn't like I don't really think I'm the use the typical user though. I'm not a dumb user. This it helps me do workflows. Where's the train coming up? Yeah, that's actually fine. We're just going to move these pipes by the side and then get rid of these bits. And then we're good. Not enough uh, inserters, that's fine. I don't know whether we need to worry about that too much. Giga... Giggle Pets. I want to manager asked me if I want to be API architect for the customer and sent me some materials of email, so I applied that I ignored first source. We had budget which share and then provide about 20 comments on other information sources. Oh. Let's try, we got too much stone. 
cool. So this is a nice little drop off. Oh, hey, you got a raid. Eight months. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Eight months. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Hey, gang. How's your stream? I bet it was very uh, chit chatty. Quite a chitty chatter. Chit chat chatteroo. Chit chat 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 chat. Hey, go, man. What's happening? Keeping it real? Keeping it unreal? Keeping it really, really real. Oh, it's always stone. Stone D. What's up? What's up? What's up? Is that the one? Is that the cartoon thing? Or was that the other one? We can rename this one. Uh, hey, cool. <laughs> Probably not what you want to hear, but I can't. Um, I can't like shout. I'm not really a shouter. I'm, I'm too cautious. I'm like, I'm too like conscious of my voice being too loud. Vegemite is delicious. What does that mean? This is this new new uh, code language. Um, a lance. Code code words. Vegemite, be a bit. Got to unsubscribe from that guy now. <laughs> hey Jake Smith, how you going? That guy, eh? He's a pretty fun guy. I enjoyed watching a few of the streams. Hey, Lance. Oh, we need some... We need some, uh... I think 25 is no good. I think it should be, like, 50. Did you know about this one, uh... Uh, I mean, you can just go up here. <laughs> That's apparently yellow. It looks like brown to me. That's yellow. Is that yellow? Do you really think that's yellow? I have my doubts. I, I suspect that's uh, that's not yellow. It looks like it's like a, a shit brown. My car looks yellow though. It does, but it's really a shit brown. How many layers we got? Too many. That color is my skin tone. I'd say it's brown. Yeah, it's it's not yellow. Wherever we go, um, color green. What color is that? That is actually green. Yeah, but this looks like it's like oat, like light green. But I guess it's night time. It's hard to tell. I have to go in some, and get some sunlight. Yeah, that's like a light. That's like a light green, eh? It looks like your name. Peanut butter butt brown. Baby poop. Oh no. Yeast is a fungus. Well, my bad. Hey, Lauren. Hey, gun. Welcome aboard. You've come to uh, the right place where we are. A Lance uh, puts up his feet and uh, here's a chuckle. We're doing, we're doing ch chuckle anniversary time. I got four. Where's my red circuits? What's going on? We know plastic? Why not? We're gonna guess. Really? Wow. Okay. We better fix that. I'm gonna get some more gas. I need more green chips up here too. So I pick up a bunch of green chips. I need to get some more stuff going, guys. This is uh, we do we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. But my car just ran out of fuel. But we're going to the moon. 
So I guess that means if you are a fungi and you eat Vegemite, you are a cannibal. Yes makes beer best not salt it. Yeah, yes can cause some uh, infections is what I know. I'm not sure you want infections. Um, not friendly infections either, like not friendly pals. The nasty pals. Mm-hmm. Breed and breed. Oh god, the infection is a whole different thing. <laughs> you know what, the infection! No. No. We don't, we don't want that. Cut it out. Um, we, want, we want some pleasant times. Some, be happy with bread and um, beer and we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be good. We'll be good little people. There we go. We've got some oils. We're all up oiling up. No, this desert sucks. Auto brew syndrome. Oh yeah, that one. Damn man. Yeah, getting uh getting drunk eating your bread. That's uh that's kinda sucks, eh? I mean when you get like liver cirrhosis and then have some problems. I suspect you would. Is my copper a bit short of something? What's going on? Like I do need a copper mine, but not yet. Oh, that pollution is getting a bit close to the baddies. There are gaps. This is not good. Does that mean there's a nest there? That's what it normally means. That's not good. I think there's a nest there. You can cheat. He's a cheat here, guys. I'll show you the cheat. Um, you go... Show candidate chunks. Expansion. This is the cheat. So you can see... This is where they want to expand to. So you can see they really want to expand to here. Um, and you can do chunk values. The probability. What Factory does to a man. Give me Fettuccine Alfredo and a bear and I'll, I'll have a good time. That sounds pretty good. Wow, they really want to go... On my... Um, my base there. But there's, the, there's, there's gaps here, but it doesn't say they're actually living here. Normally it says, you know, normally if they're, they're there, it would say it's red. The weird thing is they want to go from here to here. They want to colonize across the water. So they could actually run around here and make a nest on the other side. Curious, eh? Bidding, have a good rest of the stream. Thanks, man. Enjoy your uh, sleepsies. It must be 1am there or something, or midnight, or some some godforsaken hour. So uh, spot you on the flip side, eh hey Lance? Hope you have a good one. Thanks for the raid. Glad to have you here. I shall endeavour to uh, automate concrete and stuff. Like a lot of things automate. Oh, I need furnaces, I need red shit, so I need everything. I think we need a nuclear power though. We need a power wow with the nuclear. 206! Oh man, it's even worse. Holy moly, you must be Eastern Seaboard. Dang, man. That's light as. Oh yeah, we're gonna give the, the green chips to my friends. That's right. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. We need some choo choos. I choose you. Man of horses, bourbon, and Tommy gun. Want to guess which state that is? Sounds like um, Detroit for some reason, but I don't think it is. Or otherwise, Atlantic, Atlanta City. I saw a TV show about Atlanta. 
Kentucky, eh? Oh. I thought your favorite East No, no. The time zone. I guess it's all kind of similar time zones, though. It's far away time zone, that's the one. In the far away places. Alright, oh yeah, we've got to get the, um... Okay, we got that. Now we get the plastic fixed. I would have guessed Midwest, but I only watched you for five minutes before you dumped me on this guy. Oh, Jake Smith. Rough. <laughs> Best of us here. Best of us here. Night, yo. Night, A Lance. Night, night. Right, we need to, uh, what are we doing, guys? We, uh... I forgot again. I was going to do something. Have you added the nod to control AI vehicles? Who needs trains? There is a hovercraft vehicle. No, I just, that, I, if that went off, Tony, I was going to leave it on, but, uh... I, uh, don't have it on this time. I, w I would have done it with the, I like the little mini gunners, you can, it's like a real time strategy game with them and you just like send them around and wipe out early butter mess, M mess, mess, early butter mess, um, yeah it's quite fun. That's what did my uh, last SpaceX games, both of them, EC and ECK2. This makes early game like not so tedious because the biters are just a pain in the ass. Uh, and, and this sort of long mod pack. So it's better not to have them, typically. And thanks for following, Jack Smith. Welcome aboard. May you uh, perspire in, in a happy way. So I think more, um, I think more pleasant than that. That's probably a bad way of saying it. Uh, Alright, got some power poles. Give me some more oil. I need to get the fancy oil up, but I haven't uh, set it up yet. I've got a lot of things I need to do, but I haven't done them. But that should get the gas going a bit better. We need to. Uh, mm, I'm a bit worried about that expansion down there. Down there, these dots usually mean they've got a nest there. I'm scared they've got a nest. I don't want to go down and find out though. But I think they do. I should get this train line up though. Don't te technically need this one. I need to get sulfuric acid on a nuclear train though. But this one will help me out for um, stone, which is getting a bit low. And then we'll get a copper one up. And then the uranium one up. And then we'll be good to go. This is the. This is my. Stone wagon, we're going to pick up full cargo, inactivity, drop off, empty cargo, inactivity, and then we go pick up. Good, good to go. Now we actually, ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I should have, oh my god, I should have caught a ride. Tell you what, because I'm such a nice guy. Oh. oh, I haven't emptied the car out yet. Okay. I forgot about that. Kind of important thing to do. Uh, we need to fill these chests up. And then I get this car empty. That was all free, free goods we picked up. But I'm going to put a new train just to go there because this um, kind of sucks. I'm going to do two trains. Go even faster. Maybe. Or I should do like a little chest here. Just to uh, help me out. Um. Took a little train top up. Alright, there we go. It's a bit faster. Two two, chicka 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 chicka. We're we going right or left? We're we going. Oh, there's no choice anyway. 
We're gonna go all the way. We go most of the way though. Stop, 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 stop. Oof. A little bit close. Alright, let's get some um, miners up. Are they not? Ah, I know. I know they're alright. And then we can put the. Is that one or two? Oh, I thought pollution you need all three, eh? Yeah. Even that'll be enough, I think. This is like a dangerous spot to be mining. Um, power's a bit low, I'm not sure why. I thought we had 26 megawatts. Why went wrong with my power plant? Oh, these ones are not getting enough anymore. Because it only goes there, so I have to... Yeah, okay. We'll, go, we'll fix that. I've got enough for a few more mines. Um, this thing doesn't need to do too much, so it's just topping up the existing uh, stone. So I'll let it be minimal for now. We'll add a few lasers to defend it. Um. Not really a much effort defense, but it is some, I think. Like that, that'll do. That should protect the whole... I don't think Nub 2 is enough, but... They're not that advanced. I don't think they'll attack, though, anytime soon. Oh, I can bring a train back. Um... Yeah. No! Oh, shit! Oof. Too fast. Hey, turn green, hit max saving, not sure the third does anything. The third halves the pollution, it drops it down again. So I went from four pollution to two pollution. But it doesn't drop the power cost down. So it's a pollution saver. And I'm, I'm worried about the pollution, not about the power. But the pollution is actually kind of important. So I'm going to trigger the baddies if I don't have to. Okay, that was good. We didn't, uh... Do too much damage. I need to fix this uh, power plant though. I thought the coal line's actually a bit weak. So this is actually, we're gonna make this belt go a bit further. Oh, we can just go here. That'll do. And this... I mean, these are direct feeding. Um, that one ran out. But that's fine. It's no good. So we lost that power plant. We need it back in, though. Cool. Now, this is... Uh, it's quite a sad power plant. This is 26 megawatts. I think I have enough pollution spare now to go more. I might boost it up. Put it out this way. Ah, oh, we did that. We did that wrong. We don't have those those poles anyway. That'll do. Kind of budget, but even that, no, 3.6, that should, should be keeping me positive for a while. So we've got the stone mine, we've got the copper, uh, iron mine, and we've got the oiler. We do need copper. Copper right there, and we've got uranium right there. Now the copper, I feel like I could belt that without doing a train line. In the future, I probably would want a train line to bring it to, like, um, be here. 
and then belt it up and splice it in. Uh, but I feel like in the scheme of my game, I can easily belt that. I can just belt this one even straight across, but I don't really feel like belting across this way. We could belt down across and then go up. I read math is like 3,000 tiles. It's uh, not worth doing trains. It's 3,000 tiles or less or something like that. So I'm like, I'm kind of keen on that. I'm not really keen on trains. I don't need them. I don't think copper is a, is a sore point. This the belt's full right now. But it will be if I expand my red chips or green chips to make actual, you know, what we need. And I do need to automate a lot more things. I think we'll get that copper spliced in. I've got... What do you have miners? That should be plenty. Those pipes are nonsense. Alright, 32 prods, that's good. That's the green chips, 16, not so good. I guess the red chips are being used. We could prod these, that would make them, like, they look like they're backed up even. I guess because I even prodded these, they dropped their consumption of red chips down. So we get 25% of spare for free. For some reason it's not, uh... I guess this thing, this thing's stealing too many compared to this. I mean, the prop modules will be better in the future. I might as well start, I might as well prod the um, military science. I'll do the green and red as well. Mostly it's not going right now, so we just need to do that half. She got 54 left. Wow, I got heaps. Things like this could definitely help out with um but then the power cost goes up a lot. Look at that. It's already gone up four mega megawatts. I think this is worth it though. The engines are kind of a, always a bit on the sad Sad state. This is the steel usage. Alright, let's go get that uh, copper line going. What's the timer at? 12.48. You're pretty good, pretty good. I might even get bots uh, next time and start researching towards uh, like rocket fuel and stuff. I mean, we, could, we can go, we already got the fuel thing. I kind of want the jetpack. This is always fun. I love the jetpack for mobility. Have you tried bot rail loader and resource map label maker? Uh, neither of those, Tony. I think I've seen the bot rail loader on T-Hexes and mic stream. I don't like the look of it though. Visually I don't like the look of it. But it looks like it's um, quite, efficient, quite effective at what it does. Alright, let's get... Oh, I've got coal out here too, but we don't need it. But I think the copper is worth it. Alright, let's get a copper patch up. I forgot I didn't remake this, so this is wrong. Which is unfortunate. I was meant to remake it with um, meeting poles. Kind of sucks. Uh, let's 
there. Okay. So create a copy of this. I'm gonna change the icon to go. We'll go wooden pole. And this is gonna be medium pole. Um. More realistic rail loading. Uh, the resource they make is handy. Yeah, how did it cost UPS though? That's the only reason I didn't get that one. I'm sure you need the one out the side here. The extra one. They make it would make colorblind people happy. Yeah, I, I can never see the stone. There's only one I can't see. I find that troublesome to see. Right, let's go new contents. Is that right? I guess so. I feel like it's not. Have a look. Oh, it's the wrong side. Fuck. That's on the top side. Why does it, why'd that do that? Huh? This is the bottom side. How'd that go top side? Huh? So weird. Anyway, um, we can just get rid of the guys. Try again. That looks much better. And if I had bots, that would build it all for me. I, I, mean, I mean, I do have bots, I just haven't automated them. I mean, too scared of the, of the baddies. You, know, you don't want baddies killing, killing you, you know? I think we're safe for a while though, at least. I'm going to get to uh, get nuclear and stuff up. What? Why not? Oh, I was in the way. Pretty good. Not that we can power, like, that's gonna kill my power. We have to do two on this one. Because I think, um, we won't have enough. Oh. The ones in the middle are more important for this sort of thing because uh, the outside ones die first. And then they don't keep going, but. for over 50k yeah that's kind of as good as I can get these ones at the bottom here are a bit stupid but I'm not going to pick them up oh I got some on the belt on excellent whoops funny okay uh, eight spare Oh, all right. They went a bit too far. Oh, another one we dropped on the belt. <laughs> Funny. Uh, whatever. Could have done this much tighter than I have. And then we got the little normal.
That's why I can, like, I love bots for this sort of thing. Like, I don't really like accurate clicking. Like, Q, click, Q, click. Not, um, not very good for your fingers. Alright, we should be good though. Good to get this going. Go straight across. Kinda. There are a few lakes in the way. I don't see them. Uh, I don't really want to go north side of the lake though. But we could do. I was going to go south side of the lake. I'm going to go down here. I guess the south side will, will be where the copper comes in next time. You do it between these two. Right, so I pretend this is uh, actual. Oh. Actually, I think this stone one is better set up. Oh, it's got this shit in the way. Uh, it's one of those pipes and shit. It's way around the. It's gonna be that way anyway. Oh, they're both the same anyway. Ah, oh, it's fine. I'll just grab it as though it's the same. Yeah, we just go pretend it's gonna go like there or something. Maybe the copper build in the future? Is that right? I guess so. Which means I can belt uh, through here. Which means I could go top side and come down. Not the worst idea. South side's a bit more aligned up though. Oh. Always find the nearest rock to smash into. Maholok 2020 ever. Every day in 2020. What rocks did it hit today? I don't know. The other rock. The other rock you saw. Yes, yes. Your favourite rock. Yes. Can I go between? Oh, I could go between. How did you come across Lunar Landing Mod when you started? It only had 300 downloads. Um, I can't remember. I was either on Reddit or um, something else. But I would like to like come across mods like that earlier. That's been wanting, so I was glad I did come across them and did. And I was going to start it two days before I did as well. Uh, but I just didn't feel like streaming it those days, so I didn't. didn't. But I think it was like 100 people downloaded when I found it. But no one, eh? I wish I remembered how I found it. My brain says Reddit. But I don't know whether it was Reddit. Mm, I'm gonna go... Here. Cool, so that should be good. Shame about this little wiggle here, but that's fine. Um, I'll be happy with that. Looks like there's a nest down there too, that's a bit funky. That pollution is surprisingly big considering I was trying to create a no pollution mining operation. They're going to create problems up there at some point soon. When's dinner time tonight, I wonder? Hey! Calm down, train! I was here first. Jeez, it's like kicking me in the bum. Naughty train. Oh, come on. Let's try to... Let's try to build a future here. Grand Copper, Copper Express. Where's the belt going? We could go internal. No, we can't go internal because that's, that's real estate. Uh, we're going to get down to... I think here yeah, is very fine. Mm 
Have you downloaded it yet, Tony? I guess I got a good premise, say, like, um, it's, the thing that I like about the mod pack is actually that they're, they're getting good at integrating like multiple mod packs, so they're picking and choosing from different ones. But like Ultra Cube is like multiple mod packs integrated, which I think is pretty cool. In Ultra Cube, uh, someone told me in chat about it. And there'd be like a thousand mods in there, Tomu. A thousand people downloaded it. And that was like week week two or something. But so people don't find new mods uh, very quickly uh, in the community. Most people don't actually uh, look for new mods, it seems. I'm probably... Um, I'll do the external one first. Internal one's always better for emergencies. Me, I ghosted it. Cool, we're looking pretty good. Um, any more defenses? No, we're okay. We could go kill those north nose these nests up here. Quite close to the oil patch. Maybe they one there. It's kind of going to cause problems. Interesting, active entity one. What's that there? One random thing. What's that mean? Me and I just like KFC, ready to launch first Kyra rocket. Excess rare metal, I fit the figure it out, then launch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the potion filters are real good. I should have done potion filters on, uh... Oh no, you can't do them in, uh, EC plane. I did them on uh, K2EC, though. They're real... Real beastie. Okay, now it's nice and chocker on that. This coal's looking a bit sad, though. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think we need, um... We need to get involved on that coal mine. Let me get some more miners. Where are the miners? Oh, they're right there. Need some more belts. Miners. Power poles, actually. More power poles. Um, here are my 100. Oh, we've got 48 of them. Made a lot of plastic from that build. We've got prods. How's the efficiency looking? No, not that one. We made none. Come on, man. Can you borrow some? I'm gonna have to swap these around. We need no efficiency modules. We need a lot of prod modules. I mean, I need the prod modules, but uh, I need to finish the modules more for the pollution culling. So well, I'll swap them now before it becomes more of a problem. Means we can make fuck all uh, prod. We could do some speeds instead, but um, I need to automate these buildings as well. These are actually quite easy to automate. That's the problem, the concrete. Should I get concrete going? I probably should. We don't have red chip spare though, I should build a new red chip factory for it. We just got the copper in, so it might be okay. 3,000 turrets? Oh my god, that's insane. That's a big, that's a big land grab. I might actually get the robot myself, but then I need to all make robots anyway. Yeah. I might just go get dinner. Might be dinner time, eh? 
I think we've got progress. I um I scattered out got this scattered out. I've got all this east side pretty covered. Um I'm glad we got this extra stone, even though it's just the edge of it. It's still plenty of throughput um, for my base here because it's. I haven't prioritized it correctly. I'm supposed to prioritize from not there, but from the train station. I think power's okay. Yeah, power's fine. But it goes, oh, the coal. I was going to fix the coal. That's right. What was wrong with it? This can't keep up? It looks like this can't keep up. Okay, let's go get that fixed. Help it out a lot more. I guess we were uh, never had enough in the first place. We were sort of <laughs> one module. Uh, here you go, buddy. Was so anyway? Is that a whole belt? Yeah, it's a whole belt now. That's looking pretty good. I'm liking this progress. I'm about to get jetpack unlocked, which is probably better than um, the rope port anyway. Jetpack means you can like, you know, do some fun things. I might um, I might call it. I'm gonna go get 